This is pervious concrete. It is durable, strong, and water can flow right through it. This video will show you how to make it. Regular concrete uses rock and sand mixed with cement to form a hard and durable material. Pervious concrete omits the sand, creating voids that water can pass through. Large installations of pervious concrete require special mix designs and equipment, but it can be simple. If pervious concrete is not available as a packaged product in your area, you can make a basic mix yourself with three parts rock, one part cement powder, and just enough water to hydrate the cement. Almost any rock will do. Round and angular rocks are both okay to use. Smaller rocks provide a smoother, more aesthetically pleasing surface. Though the smaller the rock is, the cleaner, more angular and or uniform in size it needs to be to maintain permeability. We've developed a product called Perktop that gives both a smooth and permeable concrete surface. But in this video we will use for our rock 3 8 inch pea gravel. You can find it at your local rockery or landscape supply store. If the rock is wet, it will require a little less water than if it is fully dried. Here we have our ingredients measured out. 3 gallons of dry pea gravel, 1 gallon of loose, unpacked cement powder, and 1 quart of water. Finding the correct amount of water to add is the trickiest part of making pervious concrete. If you add too much water, your concrete could end up impermeable. If you add too little, some rock could come loose from the surface of the concrete once it has set. If you choose to use a different rock as an aggregate, you will likely need more or less water than we are using here. Don't get discouraged if it takes a few tries to get the right consistency. Make sure to document the amount of water you add. This will allow you to make further batches without having to test the consistency every time. And because the correct amount of water needed lies within a very narrow range, we recommend mixing in the shade, in the morning, or on a cloudy day to keep the mix temperature cool. This will minimize evaporation that can occur before you have a chance to place and finish the concrete. Ideal temperatures are above freezing, but below 80 degrees Fahrenheit. It's important to keep your ingredients in the shade, out of the hot sun. Make sure your water isn't too warm, like water that has been sitting in a hose on a hot day. When mixing the concrete, you'll be working with cement, so take the necessary precautions. To mix your concrete, add the rock and cement to a mixing tray, then add the water. If this is your first time making the mix, start with less water than you think you need, then add a little at a time until you achieve the correct consistency. Again, make sure to keep track of how much water you use if you want to make further batches. As you're mixing, scrape the edges and base of the tray to ensure you get every bit of cement and every drop of water mixed in. After the ingredients are thoroughly mixed, squeeze a handful of the pervious concrete into a ball. The ball should hold together, and the cement paste should have a shine to it. This is the correct amount of water in the mix. You'll see that a lot of the paste will stick to your gloves. The pervious concrete will be workable and will set up strong and permeable. This mix doesn't have enough water in it. The paste appears dull and the ball crumbles. Very little paste will stick to your gloves as well. To fix this, mix in a small amount of water and do the test again. This mix has too much water. It appears wet and your gloves get almost completely covered in paste. Too much water thins the paste and the concrete feels loose and slimy. To fix this, mix in more aggregate and cement. Here you can see how watery paste drains away from the rock and onto your gloves. In a good mix with the correct amount of water, the paste will stick to itself more and doesn't come off on your gloves as much. Here are the three examples side by side. Not enough water is on the left, too much is on the right, and the correct amount is in the middle. Once you have achieved a good water to cement ratio for your pervious concrete, you can make a larger batch to pour a path, a solid base for a flagstone patio, or even an entire driveway. And now that you know how to make it, check out our video on placing and finishing pervious concrete. 
At Pervious Products, we work exclusively with Pervious Concrete. We develop special mix designs for a wide variety of applications. Check out our website for more information and examples of the many things that can be done with Pervious Concrete. PerviousProducts.com